Hey there, Jays. Zero Pop Insurance here. Welcome to another episode of Psycho Behind the Scenes. We last left off with Jesse being indirectly kicked out of Aunt Jackie's house by his mother, effectively saving his mom from all the toxic radiation going on around him. So she is in the fallout shelter, and we won't see her again for a while. So now Jesse is forced to walk home, a, a complete fucking loser, and he has to go back to his dad, and his dad's like, I told you so, Jesse. I knew you couldn't fucking last in the real world. Which sucks, but Jesse handled handles it like a boss, he completely, he swallows his pride and just deal, he just takes it like a man and is like, okay, and he got that from Jeffrey, he got that good old bottle, bottle that shit up, Jesse, till you eventually shoot your motherfucking dad. Jesse then goes to Uncle Larry's house, there's this awesome intro shot where Jesse's walking in the snow, you could easily place this after the finale, this is what I imagine Jesse's like in Switzerland right now, just chilling. I really hope he didn't actually go through with killing himself, that would be kind of tragic. So Jesse moves all of his stuff out of Aunt Jackie's house, brings it back home, Jesse is officially moved back home. Jeffrey uh, catches up with his brother, and yo, Jeffrey's killing it, man. He's acting like a big brother to Jesse. It seems like he cares a lot, and he keeps stressing this bottle up technique. Like, Jesse, yo, just keep doing what you're doing. Play dad's game. Like, it's working, right? It may be working now, but in the long run, it is not an effective technique. We then had this random vlog called Attack of the Bat, where Jesse, Jesse and Corbin were going out to play in the gaming room, and there was a fucking bat in there. That was a real live bat, and believe it or not, guys, that was not supposed to be the video for that night. We, me and Corbin were supposed to film something with the Wii U, or, or I forget what it was. But I legit, I opened the door and I was like, holy fuck, there's a bat in here! I don't think we got that on camera, but I almost shit myself. The reaction probably would've been gold. Um, so we decided to just film a vlog around the bat. We just thought it was really funny if like, Jesse's like, ah! Freaking out over the bat and Jeffrey's like, dude, come on. And we we put it in the put it in the possibility of Jeffrey possibly praying us with this fake bat. But now nah, that shit was real. Jesse loves his imaginary friends and animals, but when it comes to real fucking animals, he's like, oh fuck. Then we had this video called Corn's Birthday Surprise. It was actually fucking Corn's birthday, and we went to Chuggy e. Cheese, and I it was actually a really fun time. Don't ask me how we were allowed into Chuggy e. Cheese, because I'm pretty sure you either need to be a kid or be a fucking parent with a kid, but yet they let two random like teenage guys in there and we had a big ass camera so we vlogged that and we made it corn knew he was going to Chuck E. Cheese this is part of the video but um it was super funny for some reason that video has a lot of views maybe that means my audience is a lot of kids who would like to go to Chuck E. Cheese and <laughs> like fucking love that I don't know next we had this vlog called no more remnants which is where my dad is just obsessed with now clearing out all the Christmas decorations as well as anything that belonged to my mother and this is our way of like clearing my mom's remnants because like she did she clearly still lived in the house but one thing i had to do was every day every single day two times a day i would have to scan the house make sure none of my mom's belongings anything was outside or else suddenly there'd be so many clues that my mom still lives at home so that became to be annoying you know add that to the list of 100 things that i needed to have in line um so we were we were basically making it easier on me but my mom was surprisingly cool with us uh clearing everything out and putting it in storage so not only did it work in the story because my dad's trying to forget about my mom but also um it kind of made the house look more barren and it made it feel more like a prison as opposed to actually a home where people live one thing i haven't really been talking about is like the q a videos and the fan mail videos obviously i'm doing those in character and there's little plot points you know remember these behind the scenes i'm just going over things as generally as possible some like showing off the clips that I do have, but trust me guys, you can go through this whole series and find new, more, more, and more Easter eggs, because every video we did, we made sure to at least put some inside jokes, things for ourselves that we go back and be like, oh yeah, I remember we did that. Nobody had any fucking clue. Like little like haha -ha moments. So please, I encourage you, do not think that these behind the scenes are like the ultimate one-stop shop, like guide to the Psycho series. If you go back and watch through, you'll see so many things that I'm not talking about, and some things that probably nobody will ever find, and it'll always be like a mystery a little egg for myself. But like I was saying, we don't really talk about the Q&As, but we had this Q&A with Big Brudda. This one I thought was important, as are some of them, because, like, guys, like, it's a fucking rare, weird thing, because Juggies are able to ask characters questions like you're not asking a person a question it's like basically if rick grimes not andrew lincoln if rick grimes from the walking dead sat down and you were able to ask rick grimes questions so what's it like killing a zombie well i, I was about to do this british accent but yeah rick grimes would tell you what it's like killing a zombie like no show has it it's a really cool thing so it was a great moment to get some extra cam or character development is if you could ask big brother questions it's great to see our characters 
actually getting along. Like, we, we really made, we turned a, a huge fucking leaf. Then we had this important video to me called McJourney's Medical Mystery. I wanted to do this video. It was kind of random. It felt more like a skit. But as you guys know, I actually had health problems. And doing this video, like, retracing my steps, so to speak, going through my history of, like, health problems and all the tests I had done, it actually helped me decide, I really have no fucking clue what's wrong with me, and I need to get surgery. So it, it, it helped me. So thanks, guys. And also, you guys gave me a lot of advice in that comments of that video and prompted me to get surgery months later so thank you guys for that i absolutely love this next video uh rip peter the fly it was all about like the death of peter the fly so jesse finds this fucking fly attached to a spider's web and it's clearly dead but uh he's kind of delusional thinking it, peter's actually alive and uh this is also to show you know jesse from bottling it up so much he, he really wants his imaginary friend to still be alive death quite frankly scares jesse and uh he was talking about yeah peter the fly his dreams were to go live on mars so Jesse finds an old firework from the Halloween video and, and before that, or Jeffrey's prank, fireworks pranks, and he straps Peter, wraps him around with the spider web to the bottle rocket and shoots it off because Peter's dream, he, he wants to live on Mars. And as the fireworks going off, Jesse doesn't fucking realize that it's going to explode. So, so Peter's dreams just fucking blow up right in his face and Peter does not get to fulfill his dreams. And, and the reason I did that was because not only is it hilarious, but it's very representative and symbolic of Jesse's journey. You know, he wants to pursue his dreams. He wants to do all this stuff. But it fucking backfires all in his face. Because he ultimately kills his dad in a big boom. So it's kind of sad that Peter the Fly and Jesse go on the same journey. <laughs> but I just love my reaction. When the, Jesse has no clue. And then the, the fucking firework and Peter blow up. And he's like, what? Then we're moving on to a big video called Over Your Head. Uh, this this kind of set up the incineration of the fan mail. Which everyone was like, yeah. Oh, it's so predictable. Well, I mean, that's because we set the scene for that in Over Your Head, where Jesse had to decide whether to help his brother live stream that he promised him or clear out the fan mail room uh, from all the fan mail because my dad wanted it to use it for storage for all my mom's things. So I had a decision to make. I ended up helping my brother and everybody knew that the fan mail was going to get burned the next day so that was one of those ones that was like predictable so to speak but it, we had to make it predictable because that's just real life i mean most things in real life don't happen out of nowhere they happen because we i mean they're supposed to happen but this video was also hugely important because in this video it's still kind of rearranged my mom's shit it's it's much like if you have a death in the family or a divorce or somebody somebody's just like gone you want to remodel the house or, or make some changes because it you know makes you feel better it doesn't remind you of that person so psycho dad rearranges the living room the and so we had it for that reason but the main reason is i wanted everything in reverse order i wanted it to be a mirror image so that we were set for the finale because i wanted it to be full circle where the second series starts in the first episode with jesse playing video xbox on his dad's tv and then it ends with Psycho Dad playing his favorite game on uh, Nintendo and Jesse comes in wanting him to stop playing video games so he can fucking get the money from the safe and, and effectively shoots him and, and ends with Jesse in the truck pulling out and begins the same way. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. So we literally set the stage for the finale in this one. We hang up the golden play button, which is coincidentally right where the mirror ends up so we can get that cool shot of Jesse and his dad in the finale. We even talk about the black box, which gets moved in the living room. And I think this is the first time we mention it, but this is the black box that can Contains my dad's favorite game, uh, as well as the gun uh, wrapped up in the American flag. So literally all the ingredients were introduced in the over your head video and all these things went over your head because you had no idea it was a fucking, that's what was happening. So that brings us to Psycho Dad Incinerates Fan Mail. This was a big one, guys. My dad was having some anxiety over the big fire that we were gonna produce. My dad was trying to like short change the video. He's like, well, let's 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 put the fire down, the, down below. We don't need the fire department. But I'm like, no, we need a big fucking blaze. So there was originally supposed to be a trail of fire along those like uh, long pieces of wood, but we couldn't get it to light because it was was so rainy which is unfortunate um, because I wanted it to be really epic of me trying to like stomp out the fire before it hit all the fan mail but we had a juggy try to expose us because like I said this was one of the predictable psycho videos so a juggy actually tried to come and, and get some video of us setting up a psycho video which would have been fucking crazy this video received so much hate because people thought their actual fan mail was getting destroyed but as you guys know and we'll learn that I mean this was all trash that I've been accumulating for months and all my fan mail I still have and I keep literally everything because I 
care about you guys so much. So this is a very traumatizing scene for Jesse. This marked the end of Fan Mail Monday, and it represented, like, these were his fans. Everything that his fans sent to him, this was a very difficult thing for him to just sit there and watch burn, like, just slowly. Um, and then it goes right into the Psycho Update, where Jesse's trying to put out the fire, and it's very representative, very symbolic of Jesse basically... Being unable to control the blaze. He's unable to control the fire in his heart. That same fire that was started by his father. It's representative of this psychotic rage building inside. And also, it's representative of it's burning the juggies. It's killing the juggies. So it's also that fire that Psycho Dad is putting onto Jesse. It's, it's also burning the fans. The only thing I can really do is run away. And as you know, that's Jesse's, uh, becomes Jesse's forte. Basically, he fights, he fights, he gives it, he gives it a lot, but then uh, he's starting to run away. At least that's the Jesse uh, from here on out. It's also great that the one thing he saves from the fire is the Emma heads, which is representative of, we, we are talking about Emma is Jesse's mom, and he just got done saving her in, in the fallout. We hear Jesse confess, and we get the I'm sorry window, which we, which we do many times later on I might not pick out every single one but we see I'm sorry on the window which is just funny anytime the universe or, or some things bad things happen to Jesse you see the fucking I'm sorry on the window Jesse confesses that he wishes Uncle Larry was his dad which is the, I think the first time we've actually heard that really verbalized and Jesse there's also some weird religious moment in here um, we already know that Jesse's character from the Thanksgiving video where he refuses to say grace and the tables get flipped over um, so he's not religious, but yet in this scene, Jesse asks for help from, from God or whatever he believes in, and wouldn't you know it, it starts actually raining. Like, I mean, clearly we didn't, like, fake that, because, you know, I can't make things rain, guys. I, I'm flattered, but it's fucking wild that, like, I, as the character, ask for God for rain, and then next thing you know, it starts raining on the fire. Um, so beyond that point, Jesse actually started to become a little religious, not in real life, but I'm talking about at the, as the character. Um, and you'll you'll see some more kind of odd religious connotations as as this portion of the series continues. So there's all these reasoning behind different things, but then also we had to clear the room out. So all the garbage, all the trash that was accumulating, or all the fan mail that was supposedly in the, the small room, um, we needed to clear it out because that's where Jesse eventually would lose his mind. And we had a moment uh, when Jesse, at, at night, after trying to find any remnants of fan mail, he, he, his, he's got dirt all over his face, his hair is soaking wet, and he goes into the fan mail room and he finds this picture, this fan made, dr made, made drawing of him looking like a fucking psychopath. So that foreshadows how I'm gonna look at the end. That that was actually just given to me by a fan, which is perfect. Um, and Jesse finds a rubber band in the corner of the room. That's something we placed there on purpose. Everything was placed there on purpose. But uh, he takes the rubber band and he says, oh, this is a good time to take it and put it into ponytail. Which actually, shit, my shit's almost ponytail length. Anyway, he puts it in a ponytail. And the reason I had that is not only I want Jesse in the Psycho series to go from the beginning, super hardcore nerd, fucking loser. And by the end, he becomes a literal badass. And we're starting to watch that transformation thanks to his father. But um, as soon as he puts that ponytail in it's it's symbolic of jesse becoming a bitch that's right i don't mean a bitch as in a bitch i mean psycho dad's bitch that's right he becomes a corporate slave it's like a shackle it's a societal shackle much like you would put on a tie around your neck like a noose but he which which happens later on but he actually fucking puts that on and for as long as you see the ponytail that means jesse becomes a working man somebody he becomes his dad's Biatch. He comes and he's a biatch. And just for the record, I fucking hated the ponytail. The ponytail fucking hurt, dude. Migraines all day. But guys, that's all I had to share. I'm gonna shut the fuck up and roll the behind the scenes for Psycho Dead Incinerates fan mail. This one we had planned for a while. Roll that shit. Very rushed day right now. We have maybe like two hours of daylight. It's a shitty day out. Today is the day that everybody gets really, really pissed off at us in general. Um, we're talking about the incineration of the fan mail. Everybody knows it's coming. I was looking at the comments of the video last night. Everybody says the fan mail's getting burned, the fan mail's getting destroyed. And that's something, unfortunately, was an inevitability. We couldn't justify Psycho Dad's actions here without having a lead in. He, there has to be an inkling of that this is going to happen, or else why on earth would he burn the fan mail? There's got to be a reason for it. So, this is our, probably one of our most predictable ones yet. Which is why Uncle Larry's here as our bouncer. Got our my baton out of the car. Do you? Or somebody else. Nice. So Uncle Larry's guarding the uh, driveway here. 
because we could have some visitors because this psycho video is uh, is gonna happen today. Um, Corn's downstairs sorting out the trash from the fan mail. Look, I, oh, I just have to say, first of all, we didn't burn any fan mail. There's no ha fan mail harmed in the making of, it's all trash. We've been accumulating trash for like the last like six months. So that's what's getting burned. This is big because for those who think it's fake, are gonna be like, what the fuck, Jesse? You don't care about the fan mail, you just burned it all for this video. And the people that think it's real are gonna think Psycho Dad burned the fan mail. So we're putting two big targets on our heads. Um, but it's from the comments last night, it seems like you guys all know it's gonna happen. And I think people are gonna pick out that it's all trash. You know, it's not like we have like a thousand fake letters made up to throw into the fan mail. I mean, that'd be really awesome, but it's just not a thing. All right, so let's go check the situation downstairs. So what were you thinking for the wind? What? Yeah. I think we need to dig a hole or we need to burn it here. Well, I definitely don't want to change the location. Location, well, location has to be changed just because of the wind. So I put, we can put it closer to that wood pile in that hole there on a, roughly in the same spot. You can't back, back a hole into I that back up, area? But yeah, but I can, there it's solid uh, crushed concrete. It'd, take, it'd probably take me an hour to get a in the a In that piece. center of it? Yeah, I can go a little further to the right in that where the uh, uh, wet spot is next to that wood pile and dig a hole there. Or, I don't know where the hell else. Uh, but uh, see, the wind's killing us. And it's I mean, what's, what's, how is wind going to defeat gasoline? I'm not pouring gasoline on it and then incinerating Why? it. Because then every, paper and cardboard fly everywhere. Right. You can't have an incit, you know, a... Uh, why not? Gasoline on everything falling Why not? everywhere because you can't. We're renegade filmmakers. Who I cares know. what you can't do? This yeah, is. I know, but there's still. I'll take any heat. Literal heat. I'll take any heat. Yeah, you can, but they see one person doing it, me. I'll you take... take the heat. All right, and then they'll come investigate, and I'll be like, yeah, that was all me. I don't really care. I don't think the wind's going to be an issue. I, plus, I, how about you said it all? <laughs> He this is. Shit. I don't give. I give zero fucks. This is all I care about. This is all I care about. Let me. Let me worry about it. But tell me where it. I want. I, I need to do it in that section. If you want to try backhoeing a hole there, we can try that. But if we get gasoline, because how I want to do it is I want to have a trail of gasoline. Because we're gonna have a dangle. I thought about it, you know, it'd be dramatic if it was already burning. Jesse rushes out. Dad, dad, no. But if we have the dangle, gasoline, it's gonna go. And we're not gonna, it's not gonna be worried about if it's gonna go out. So this is we a need one, a blaze. And done and, one and done. Of course. I mean, no, I'm saying if, if we make the trail of gas into a hole where everything's already piled up. Yes. Okay, and then we just torch the, the gas spot. It's just it the act back, of the destruction, right. And it just goes up and that's it. And the point of no return is set late in the video. So, you know, if we mess up, it's before anything goes. So well, this is we can redo it. One. No, I think he wants no. to know after once it goes up, how long yeah, how you long? let it burn all the way down to nothing? Or? Um what Jesse starts to frantically in the psycho update, like a psycho video cuts off with Jesse on his knees, corn pans away and gets a shot of like the flaming fan mail and Jesse on his knees in the foreground, and then it cuts, but then the psycho update picks up and then Jesse like all of a sudden is like, What the fuck am I doing? I'm just sitting here like basking in it. I need to go and try and scramble to to put it out. Um, so then that happens, and then once once I cut it, then we can put it out. Like it's not going to be blazing yeah, you know, for, the, uh, for very long. Uh, I, I would one. have one out there just in your truck or something like that, just in case uh, Jesse has to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> like, uh, I guess this one's still good. Is that the one from the Christmas tree? Still got pressure. Well, you better right. get rolling here because it's totally supposed to get a lot uglier. Yeah, I, I only can stay till four to four thirty. Okay. Days. All right. Do you want me down there? Uh, right now, yeah, or? yeah. Why well, you come down here? Come down where? The basement. Oh, I thought you meant down at the end of the driveway. Oh no, no. All right. Um, stop. Damn it, John. Hey guys, this is a lot that's cool. It? This is all that's burning. Holy shit! <laughs> John, get out. What? Guys, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. How long you been doing that? Hours. Go upstairs. <laughs> I I had already. Come on, Luna. Every time I put it away, I try to keep all the good stuff to the right on the back. Sorry guys. Shit's about to get hot in here. So take that. Yeah, a pallet here. You could he could put this and put a pallet don't, or if you had pallet like Don't even pallet. tell me. Don't even tell me about the pallet. I was been saying well, pallets pallet for like the last weigh, week. It would have helped weigh all this shit down. Yeah, so and it would have structured and it would have structured the blaze. I know. I was saying like, uh, don't we need pallets for this fire? Work, and that work too. We don't I listened to my dad way too fucking much, and he boss he pushes me around and said, "Jess, we can't do this. Don't do that. We don't need pallets. I have so much wood out there." And it's like, okay, 
with that's the fine. Would have kept everything I, contained <laughs> in one area. So oh, yeah. So you All right. Do not want this stuff like in this area because sometimes this area gets. Um. Camera. No, it's totally fine because I know there's a lot of stuff. Uh, if you want to keep just doing that area, that's fine. Um. But yeah, I don't mind. We're just gonna go out of way to avoid. Through. Yeah. 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 This is stuff. Well, that's like, I know that's not burning. Okay. I wasn't sure. That's Any like questionable burner. things, then we'll hold on to. Okay. Because we definitely have enough here. These are like empty, like. Oh, these are the play, play button, button boxes. boxes. Yeah. yeah okay. What the fuck were they doing in there? I don't know. Jeffrey probably put them in there. He's moving stuff around. Emma heads. We will not have in the blaze. He's gonna be holding on to these. These are just gonna be a symbol. Um. All right. So these. So is it super windy out? So like even just setting these down right now. It's going Could, to get worse too. Okay. And you're you're in a time a real time constriction here because there's I some know. bad thunderstorms coming through. This is not good. Like both daylight, storm, windage. That looks that's like sick. that's actual. Oh, these are oh these are all trash. The these trash. are all college people signed me up for ten what different colleges. Yeah. This ain't enough. Uh, we're just taking. Look at all this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. This stuff is good stuff though, right? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to start pretty much bringing it out to where the uh, fire location is. Guys, sorry if the behind the scenes isn't real extensive this one. I really got to focus on making sure this goes right and we get a good video. Um, but we'll definitely get some later on. We'll talk about like why this is important for the series and just everything about that. Whew. Health problems galore, baby. Um, all right, guys. We're setting up. We've just finished setting up. Really frantic, rushing around. It's like apocalypse weather, and it's perfect because it's the shape of things that come for Jesse's life. Here's our uh, fan mail pile. You can see Santa Dick kind of leading the charge here. Uh, we threw even like a false draft of the Declaration of Peace between me and Jeffrey. A lot of envelopes to kind of really make it seem like there's fan mail, uh, but there's no actually letters. You know, I got like CDS contracts and shit in there. All kinds of random like crap that I'd lying around. Um, and boxes and whatnot. So now we gotta get our uh, oh. the hashtag triple M result winners. There's all sorts of shit in here. All right. So we got our Emma heads. Emma heads aren't actually going into the fire. That's sort of the last. Wait, uh, no, nah, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait. Why are you moving this? Well, no, this is, I kind of wanted this here because you need to stoop. Because we have to come up with a reason because you naturally wouldn't have been able to move all this by yourself. So you need to be chilling somewhere. So we can have you chilling right on the grill of your truck. All right. Well, no, I just want to be here. I just want to cut it in more of an angle so we watch the wind. Nah, this is good. Crisis averted. All right, we can put those back where they were. Don't worry about it. You're, you're safe sure. anyway. Yeah, put those back where they were. All right. Um, so Larry's going to be our point guard. We're going to send him over. Uh, just making sure. You know, it's nice that no cars will come down, but somebody could totally park their car and then just walk down. We'd have no idea. Coming from the woods, it's super windy. Head down. Good luck. Godspeed, right? Kill him. Kill him if you have to. Kill take, first, ask questions the later. Kneecaps yeah. for the win. Hey, <laughs> Jesse, I must get the video exposing you. <laughs> All right, um, so this is what we got. Corn just finished clearing out the room like a bounce. Uh, so it's all completely empty. This is important because, you know, we have the room cleared out for when Jesse's fucking stuck in solitary. We have the money in the safe. We have the living room rearranged for the end. We're in the final three months here. This is big. This is very dark happening. All right, so we need to set up the gasoline here. Um, I can't get too far out with the gasoline mm. because it'll absorb into the ground and it won't burn. You need to have the dangle. So our dangle is basically a long fuse. We have to sell this reality of how the F did you build this whole, put this all this together all by yourself and moved it all out of that room. It seems kind of ridiculous. So we need to sell that you're exhausted and like that you're just like, like this is kind of like your final uh, send off. This is, you're just that desperate to send home a message to Jesse. Like this is what happens when you lie to me and you kind of go against my, my rules and wishes um, now that you're back in the house. Me and Corn are going to be inside. Video is going to start off us uh, going to clear out the room because last we heard I had to clear it out by last night and Jesse didn't do that. <laughs> so we're going to the room. Me and Corn figure out that it's completely empty. Suddenly I'm like, what the fuck? I go check the ping pong room and that has all mom's stuff in it. And I'm like, where the fuck is the fan mail? I go running upstairs looking for you. Dad, dad. Where the fuck is all my fan mail? I go rushing off and it's very reminiscent to uh, Sega Dad Shred's video games where, um, you know, I go rushing outside and then the cameraman doesn't follow. Corn's actually gonna linger 
in the room because the camera needs to adjust to get the shot of the fan mail outside. This is what happens when you disrespect me and you lie to me, you should have thrown all this away. And I'm like, Dad, I'm not throwing away all this stuff. It really means a lot to me. This is all sentimental things. And you were like, kind of like the, the mentality you had last night. Did you already read it? Mm -hmm. Did you acknowledge it? Then you don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna be like, well then what the fuck are you doing still keeping all mom's things? For as long as you're gonna be in this house, you're gonna play by my rules. Mm -hmm. I'm already not even charging you. And I'm like, you're not charging me because you took the money. It's not about that, it's about going forward. You're just following the action, you know, quick back and forth between me and my dad. The wind hopefully doesn't kill the audio too much, uh, but it could. I just got whiplash by my, by my hoodie lace here. So always better to be out than in. Um, kind of like an outfielder, it's easier to run forward than backwards. You'll see me on my knees right there in the fire in the background. That's one shot I want to see at least twice. Um, once kind of towards, like once you see me go onto my knees, you're kind of like close up with me. Um, and then following that, then you kind of pull back and get that shot and get it for a few seconds. And then you come back and come around. And I just want to, you know, get the flames and then a pan over of my face, and then it's kind of like a close up of my face, um, and just as it's burning, because I'm just gonna be looking at it, and I'm gonna try and get like a tear, um, and I'm gonna be saying some pretty dark things, like, you know, like I failed the juggies, and uh, I shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be back here. I can't ask for better weather, honestly. It's windy as fuck and rainy, but this is perfectly symbolic of what this means for Jesse's character and the, the remainder of the series. It's all set. All right, so uh, let's get the gasoline set up. Once again, sorry if this seems rushed. There's a lot I'm gonna have to say off camera. Just imagine it's fucking great things and whatnot to make sure this is good. What the fuck? Fuck. Dad! Dad! Uh, wait, 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 wait. They're not disrespecting, Dad! Dad! Thank God! Yeah, thank God! You can't do this! This cross is the line! My house. Dad! Dad, come on! Please stop! Get away, get away, get away. Dad, you're lucky. This shit should you go home. Don't get out of here. Just going up. Stop, stop. We're just gonna... uh, behind the scenes, we just got done the incineration of fan mail. Uh, Uncle Larry left. My dad's uh, Starley filling up the hole right now. We just uh, burned everything. It was didn't go as. Corn's giving me this look like you might see someone. Here's the deal. I'm glad I was here to help move shit. I don't know how well the, uh, the, w uh, the wind's picking up here. <laughs> but we had Uncle Larry here. We've had him here for previous videos. Holy shit. Um, he kind of is like our bouncer. For videos that he's not included in, we have him sit at the end of the driveway just to make sure nobody's coming. This one time, when we were doing the incineration, I knew, as I said, the predictability of it all, we'd have a visitor. It's a damn good thing I texted Uncle Larry to do this because we had somebody drive by, you know who you are, bitch, trying to expose us, and uh, he tried to get us in the making of. Luckily, Uncle Larry kind of stared him down, but he did almost get into an accident at the end of our driveway. Ooh, hold on, let me speak, wait till the wind's done. The Lord, the Lord has heard Jesse's, Jesse's prayers. Um, he had his cell phone out the window of his car and was videoing Uncle Larry at the end of the driveway while going by. Even tried to prompt him for a wave to get it. <laughs> Fucked up, man. But we're out here now because my mom's car is sitting right fucking there. And we're also, I mean, we just gotta clean up everything right now. I may have said, like, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Um, there's sometimes Jesse does cue words. But, but yeah, I like, I was just standing there and I was like, my eyes, I just couldn't keep them open. <laughs> you threw your hoodie in there and it was just like, boom, and it was gone. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck did it go? And then I threw my t-shirt. <laughs> I didn't, some things I don't know are gonna happen when I'm when I'm in the character. So like, it's a good thing I didn't care about those two articles yeah. of clothing. And I figured Jesse always takes off his clothes, that's the thing, so that makes sense. And I'm trying to put out the fire. Um, well, I'll be happy. Oh, somebody's driving real slow. White car. Yeah, I saw him. Paranoia, paranoia. This is where my dad really starts taking out the aggression of the divorce on Jesse. This was very much, fuck you, my wife left me. I don't want you to have any good things either. It's a really fucked up mentality. But once again, this guy is actually crazy. This dude's seen some shit. I like to think Psycho Dad's been to war. And he has, like, 
He's seen some fucked up things. You know, that that's part of Jesse's growing up story. It's a, it's a fucked up, cynical lesson he needs to learn in life where you just have to grit your teeth and smile, act like nothing matters, and that's what we do in this world. And Jesse's learning that probably the worst way possible. And the fans are, there's gonna be an uproar. Finding that letter. Oh. Over yeah. in the dirt. Also, we saw it and I was like, oh shit, that's pretty nice. Yeah, cause like I said, no fan mail was included in this burning. That had to have been like fucking the one that slipped by. And it actually was a cool, it had good yeah. things to say. Yeah. Um, so Amy, oh, you know who you are. When you you just reading it, I was like, I hope this says something like really. Please, like, please, right? Story. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes it just works out that way. As you can hear, I have no voice. This is the typical <laughs> response to a psycho video. However, in this case, I have, I have my eyes are feel like they're on fire right now. My voice doesn't exist. Me and Corn probably took a couple years off our life by, by inhaling that shit. When I like grabbed you and I was like. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pass out. That, there was like a, a, a grain of truth in that. Inkling of like... Yeah. <laughs> like, cause I was yelling so much, I couldn't fucking breathe, and then I was just like, so many fumes, guys. Yeah, you kept on doing that thing where you were like... I'm like, ah! And I was like, does it really hurt that bad? I was like, I guess it was just the way I was angled every time. I was like, never hurt. It was, God. yeah. Was like, okay. It was never quite that bad, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> we're just waiting there. You can tell you're like letting him like light it. Like, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Dad! I'm like, Dad! Dad no! Dad, no! Dad! Please! Dad! Dad! <laughs> Dad! It's similar to the game shredding where Jesse's like, no! And I'm like trying to grab him but not. It's like, Ugh! oh no! But even that, the moisture in the air was dampening and everything. Wet. You see how long it took that gas to even like, And that was, yeah. I came back, I told Corn, every time you went back in, as soon as you went back in, I poured more on the log and it poured at the end. Yeah, we gave you a lot of time that last one. When you like, we're pulling the boxes out, All right? And then you put it to the side. I think I got it. Like I had you in the fire in the background. All of a sudden, the wind like pushed the box right back. Into the <laughs> I did it. Yeah. That was the final take. It, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. We're gonna leave that there. Yeah, like triple M winner. I said triple M, and it says never give up. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it when things work out. Now, I and it's funny that we found the one letter that I have in my pocket right now from Amy, because Amy. Amy's Psycho Dad's past love in the game series. That's it. So it's like, oh, Amy wrote him a letter. We'll give him, we'll give him a high five for this one. For sure, Z's. Nice job. Nice job, Corn. Actually, you didn't even retract that, yet, retract yeah. that. We didn't even see it yet. Didn't see it yet. Corn doesn't get congratulated until I see the final product. Because we got another notch in the belt. The 42nd episode of the Psycho series. We only got eight left. And two of them are the finale. Six left, really, and three of them are ones I'm really looking forward to. The room destruction, the RV destruction, and the pool destruction. So, thank God we're not really there yet. I'm nervous for those, but I'm also excited. Look, I'm excited for the next one. It's pretty easy. Are you actually seeing stuff, or are you just keep... Yeah, I've seen stuff. That's oh, really? That's why I it. Then it just pulled away. All right, Corn, let's check it out. What's no. Left? <laughs> What's left? Oh, no. So, see that farm over there, guys? I could be wrong. Once again, there's things that we don't even know exactly what's gonna happen. I mean, there was a lot of things in that filming that we didn't know was gonna happen that ended up being accidental art, is what I call it. It's a cool experience. Um, but when Jesse gets a farming job, we just, we don't know where I'm gonna be working. We want it to be the perfect spot where it's somebody that can become a character in the series. Kind of like Psycho Dad, but he actually goes through this arc where by the end of it, he supports me. Like, he's like a straight dickhead in the beginning. But by the end of it, he's like, I get it. I get it, Jess. <laughs> Because I, I, that's when I decided I want to quit. Okay. And he's actually understanding of that. Oh. He's like, this is, you know, videos is what you're supposed to do. And it's gonna be a really cool moment. Huh. Um, so we gotta find the perfect person in the perfect location. My neighbors, I, I, oh, I thought of it the other day and I was like, hey, they have a farm. They kind of know generally what happens here. So if we could set something up with them where I'm buying them animals for helping me film, then that's totally cool. I want to get a gate. And I should have had a gate at this point already in the series. However, I found out they're like over ten thousand dollars. Gates are very expensive. I slipped. <laughs> like, oh, really? When you were doing the hose, and then you oh, came yeah. at me real quick, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Dude, that was intense." I thought the the hose was gonna get tugged, and I was gonna break my fucking yeah, screen. Yeah, I was trying not to step on it. I didn't even know what I was doing, and then I th I cracked up when you get there, and it's like, oh fuck, it doesn't even link link up. This is where Psycho Dad's gonna die, get shot and killed. And also, um, we have the money in the safe in the basement, that's set in place. And now the biggest thing also is we have the room cleared out where Jesse's gonna be solitarily confined. 
everything's ready for the finale, and that's weird for me to think about. All right, Jays, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Drop mad likes on this video. If you were fucking shocked by the fan mail incineration, you were like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, these fans sent you that shit. Or you just you just enjoy this behind the scenes. Lots more shit to come, guys. I'm pumping these out a lot faster. Love you, Jays of death, and don't forget to keep it rigid.